Well, there's not too many days I wish I didn't go fishing, but today was one of them. Because nothing went right. Missing an outrigger. Yeah. Sandy got all wrecked. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. As we were saying, we broke an outrigger today. Check it out. Awesome. Frames here on the job. To help me out, we're gonna sleeve it and get by for a couple days so I can get a new piece. Fingers crossed. Hope it works. Yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> get the real shit on video. This is what it's come to. For now. Quick fix.
Oh yeah. Nice. Tuna is flying everywhere. Can't get a bite yet. So work hard. Ooh, right here. There he goes. <laughs> What do you think, Adam? The man. Sand. It's snow. <laughs> no bite. They don't seem to want to bite. Adam's not happy, as we can tell. <laughs> Woohoo! Here we are. Lake Tahoe. Heavenly Resort. Awesome view. Check that out. What do you think, Robbie? I'm stoked. Yeah. Be beautiful day. Pretty Soft day. Still. A little bare, but that's okay. All right, we are on like code deep red. I don't know. Shit's going crazy. Code Coronavirus. Corona. <laughs> yeah, Shade Corona. Vale Resorts, including North Star Heavenly and Kirkwood, shut down. It's snowing its ass off outside. Squall and Alpine Meadows are closed. Unfortunately, I had to. Book an early flight out of here because I'm afraid they're gonna shut down the airports. It's getting chaotic. Coronavirus craze is in full effect. Hey, so here we are, well over a week in the quarantine. Coronavirus has got everybody's head spinning, but uh, just been keeping busy, doing a lot of rigging, getting amped up about the uh, upcoming tuna season in New Jersey. Hopefully things will be settled down by then. And I'm hoping it settles down before that so I can actually get back to my boat. It's, I'm stuck here. I can't get back to it. It's in Grenada. Nobody can go anywhere right now. Anywhere. So, um, let's see how that all, all that mess pans out. But I've been keeping busy rigging up all kinds of stuff. Did a whole bunch of spreader bars, lots of tuna rigs, lots of white marlin rigs. And I'm um, still hoping to maybe get a little bit of Bahamas time in on the way back up. Hopefully I can get up. But I uh, actually came home right before all this stuff went down. Went to go visit my brother, snowboard a little bit. That got shut down real fast. Um, <laughs> shut down all the resorts and kind of game over. So flew back home, wanted to catch up, see family, see my girlfriend, and get boat parts that I needed. And they pretty much shut everything down right when I got back. So at least I got stuck here doing a bunch of rigging. Right now I got this going on. All kinds of goodies. Going to do... My last few spreader bars, I've done about 18 so far. Uh, I re-rigged a bunch of them, and I'm just gonna do uh, a really big green machine bar, a really big zucchini shell squid bar, these guys right here, and then uh, probably one more speed bar, so just to have a good mix of stuff. But for me, I always like pink, rainbow, green, and zucchini, with green and rainbow usually being the best for me. Last year was all about green. I just pulled all green bars, um, I mean, of course, a lot of Ballyhoo and tuna flares in the mix, but, uh, yeah, it's been productive and just trying to stay sane during quarantine. I'm, sh I'm hoping all you are too. And yeah, so that's pretty much been what's going on. A bunch of spreader bars we right there. Wahoo Joe, custom color. And yeah, fish down, see flying fish. Rigged up a bunch of these for, uh, teasers and also going to try them for tuna as well. Um, they work. Pretty good in Grenada for a tuna. They, it worked really good for a teaser. Got quite a few blue marlin bites on it, plenty of sailfish bites, but excited to see how they fare well up here in uh, New Jersey waters. But um, hopefully everyone staying safe and hopefully we get through the coronavirus soon. But uh, all the best for now. Hope the fish will be biting like crazy when this is all over. Uh, see you out in the water.